Paris Saint-Germain have left Marco Verratti out of their Champions League squadules. This Al Arabi think is happening, yeah? I think it is. In, in Qatar, the, the window is open until September 18th or 17th, I think, actually. Uh, in a way, I, I think it's a bit sad when he's a club legend because he's a club legend, whether you think he was... He never really fulfilled all the potential or no. I know you're smiling. Well, it's club legend because then you, have, you force me to bring up the club's history, which they all the way back to It doesn't matter so much. He's been there 10 years. He's been, he's right. been really good for most of his time. But yeah, of course, he's not perfect. But to have an ending like that is still a bit sad, I think. And whether you think he's a club legend or not, it's a bit sad. I can understand the point of view from Luis Enrique, the club. They don't, they, don't, they don't count on him this season. So you're not going to put him mm -hmm. in Champions League squad when you hope that he leaves. And I think he will go to Qatar, but for him, at 30, is a bit sad. And speaking of PSG, Gab, is it true that if Verratti doesn't move, then my boys will be the biggest spending club in Europe? That's right. Paris Saint-Germain have somehow, despite selling Neymar for 90 million, actually in net terms outspent Chelsea. It's very wow. close. Now, obviously, that will change if uh, if they get money back for Verratti, which yeah. we, think we think will probably will. happen. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was blown away from it. Um, still far behind El Hilal, which is uh, 350 million net wow. spend. Massive. Number one spenders in the world. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.